Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Krista and welcome. I have some great DIYs for you today, but first, this is my channel. I love doing Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift store DIYs. So if you like what you see, I want to remind you not to forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below because I always like to hear what you guys think. Also, if you do subscribe and you are a new subscriber, don't forget to hit the bell so you never miss any videos that I upload. With that being said, let's begin with DIY number one. Today I'm bringing to you Mackenzie Child Flips. So I'm using these dishes from the thrift store. I got them two for 99 cents. And then these are the Mackenzie Child's napkins. You can get these online. I will have the link down below. They were like six or seven dollars. I'm also using Mod Podge that I got from the Dollar Tree. This rack to put the dishes on that I already had. And the first thing I'm going to do is I cut my napkins into a square to fit over my plate and then I took off the extra napkin layer. Um, you want to make sure you get down to just the first layer. That's the only thing you want on here. You have to be really careful when you Mod Podge. Go very gently with your fingers because you can tear the napkin. So that's what I did first. And I just poured Mod Podge all over the top of it with my sponge and just moved it around. And then once I got all of the little wrinkles out with my fingers, and then I went back in with my sponge and I went over the top one. I did that with all three plates. Now DIY number two is also incorporated with this DIY. I got this teapot from also the thrift store. This was $2.99 and it had a little flower thing on it, but I wanted to make it Mackenzie Childs. So I went in with some white chalk paint and all I did was give it a coat or two. Then I let that dry and then I came in with the napkins once again and I took them layers out. And now I'm gonna take my Mod Podge, I'm gonna pour it into my little dish here, and I'm gonna use my little sponge and I'm gonna start Mod Podging. Now with this, I did take my time because you, it's, it's a round, <laughs> you know, the teapot is round, so it's a little bit harder to get the napkin on without a lot of creases. So what I did is I went very slowly and very lightly with my fingers, just dabbing it down like you see me doing. And I just kept going in little sections until I got all the way around the teapot. And then I did the handles and the um, top, the front part, the spout of it, I did um, separately. So I just keep going along with my little sponge and I just keep, you know, going in little sections. So that is the key here. So if you want to do a teapot or something like that, because I'm a Kinchy Tiles website, she has lots of teapots and dishes and things like that. And that's what I'm trying to um, do here. So then I did the top of the teapot and I just let, put two little slits with my scissors um, into the napkin in the, in the middle of it. And then I just kind of pushed it around my little top there of my teapot. And then I just kind of pushed it down, making sure to try and get as many wrinkles out as I possibly could. And then I did the top of it. Once everything has dried, which I let them sit for a couple hours, I went back with my scissors and I just cut around my plates to get all that excess off. Now, don't try to do this before they're dry because you're gonna tear the napkin. So make sure that it is dry before you attempt to um, trim it with your scissors. After I trimmed each dish with the scissors, I went in with my sand block, also from the Dollar Tree, and I just pushed in a downward motion with my sand block to get the excess um, napkin off of the edges of my plate. And I just kept going around very gently. Then I wanted to make this really look elegant, so I went in with one of my gold um, paint markers that I believe I got this one from Walmart and I just went around the edges of the plates and also the edges of my teapot and the top of my teapot to um, really bring it out because on the napkins um, by McKinsey Childs, they are, they have gold on the edges. 
and a lot of that got cut off when I mod podge these on so I decided to make my own on the edges of the plate so that kind of like pulls it all together and makes it look really pretty and elegant and I just love the way these turned out you guys this was so easy and so simple and all I had to do was go to my thrift store get some plates and my podge them and put on the McKinsey child napkins and you can make them look just like the ones that you could buy on her website totally cool right so check your thrift store and make sure you check it out this is the teapot all done and the dishes I hope you guys like it because I really had fun making them now what I'm going to do is I wanted to make a little messy bow I call them to put on top of my little dish holder so what I'm doing is I'm cutting some lemon um because my whole kitchen is lemons so i decided to um and this buffalo check of course and i decided to take that um i got the lemon ribbon i believe i got from hobby lobby on sale when they had their 50 percent off ribbon i also got this ribbon as well from hobby lobby and then the other ribbons you're going to see i got from the dollar tree so um this one actually came from burlap.com I will link that also down below. I absolutely love these. Oh no, I got these on Amazon, sorry. Yes, those were Amazon. And you get a whole package of different kinds of designs and I absolutely love them. So I will link that down below. But this um, ribbon is also from Dollar Tree. And then this ribbon is from Dollar Tree. So two from Dollar Tree, two from Hobby Lobby, and then one I got online. So now what I'm doing is I am just crisscrossing. If you've never done a messy bow, it's very simple. You're just going to crisscross them in different directions, um, kind of like not overlapping each other. You want to try and make it so that they're all kind of on their own little line. And then you're just going to crunch it all together. And I'm taking a piece of floral wiring and I'm going to tie those all together real tightly. And then I'm just going to fluff it out. Now one of my little ones came off. But that's okay because it still looked good, so I didn't need it. And I just scrunched it all up, and um, some of them were wired, so it made it really easy, and then some of them were not, but it just made it look even more messy. So and that's the point of the whole bow. So that's what I really like about making messy bows, and because they're super easy. <laughs> so next, I'm just going to take that floral wire that I um, put on the bow, and I'm just going to tie that to the back of my dish rack um, here that I have and then I'm just going to clip the ends off and then to give it extra support I do turn it back around because the bow moved around a lot even with the floral wire and me tying it on tightly so I decided to put a little dab of glue and then I took a little piece of that um, ribbon and just cut a piece off and I just put it on the back like that just to make it more sturdy and that is it guys and here are your close-ups this was a super easy DIY. I hope you guys try it out. I'm going to leave all the links down below so you guys can check it out for yourselves and maybe try these out. And if you like my channel, like I said, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I love to have you in my little community. I love doing DIYs, like I said, and I hope you guys like it. And here is the um, close-ups of the teapot. I think it came so cute. I put it in my cabinet with all of my lemon decor. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.